in this video let's look at uh, what is flow diverter static from brain aneurysm brain aneurysms are bulges in uh, blood vessels of the brain they can be treated by uh, angiographic non surgical means by doing coiling where we insert coils inside the aneurysm angiographically and it will block blood flow inside the aneurysm but some aneurysms are complex like this the neck is wide where coils may not remain inside the aneurysm it may come out in the parent artery in such cases we may have to put a stent in the parent artery to protect the normal blood vessels but some aneurysms are more complex than this they are fusiform wide neck in those cases coiling may require further treatment or it may predispose to recurrence even after the coiling so in such cases we can offer a flow diverter treatment what is a flow diverter flow diverter is nothing but a special stent with a more metal density you know uh, when heart attack uh, comes uh, cardiologist put a stent inside the coronary blood vessel or any blockages there elsewhere in the body we put a stent there but these stents are more porous as compared to those stents flow diverter stent is much less porous metal density is much higher so it will it will divert flow away from the aneurysm so suppose this is the blood vessel which is having aneurysm here we put a flow diverter stent in the parent artery like this and so it will divert flow away from the aneurysm in the parent artery in over a period of time this aneurysm will shrink so this is the basic concept of the flow diverter let's look at this uh, case study is a 62 year old gentleman presented uh, to us with the uh, unconsciousness episodes there were three episodes uh, in last years uh, on examination he was all right uh, mri was done which showed uh, interhemispheric subnodal hemorrhage and also mr angiography was done to see any blood vessel abnormality which revealed uh, right uh, supraclavicular ic aneurysm this is the mri picture this is the aneurysm is here and this is the subarachnoid hemorrhage this is a mr angiographic picture you can see a wide neck aneurysm at the right supraclavicular ic location the patient was decided for the treatment uh, aneurysm size was around 5 mm and probably this is the cause of his recurrent uh, syncopal attacks and we found out there is some subarachnoid hemorrhage so uh, we decided to treat uh, this aneurysm before frank bleeding happens and here you can see it is wide neck so if you just put a coil it will not remain inside the aneurysm it will come into the normal parent artery so we decided to put a flow diverter here this is the angiographic uh, pictures and we need to take a measurement uh, for the flow diverter placement so distal diameter was 3.8 proximal diameter was 4.3 Length was uh, 17 millimeter, so we decided to do a derivative flow diameter 4.5 by 20 millimeter in size. That's how the flow diameter looks like on the X-ray fluoroscopy. Patient did well. Uh, this is the flow diameter uh, stent placement. This is the flow diameter stent. You can see here it is placed in the parent artery across the aneurysm neck. This is uh, angiography after flow diverter placement. You can see the stasis of contrast inside the aneurysm, which means the flow diverter has already started working. No thromboembolic complication at the end of the procedure. This is, you can see, nice stasis of contrast inside the aneurysm means the flow diverter is working effectively. Patient got this after two days uh, without any complications. And uh, patient asked for follow up after uh, six months. This is a six month control angiography. You can see aneurysm is completely disappeared and aneurysm is completely cured. This is just to compare uh, the picture six months before and this is six months later. You can't say there was any aneurysm here before. This is another projection. You can see complete cure of the. and you can this is a picture 6 months before this is 6 months after flow diverter placement you can see there is complete cure of the aneurysm by the flow diverter stenting thank you